lessons about the real number system. So a little review again. Natural counting numbers, those are our Elmo numbers, starting with 1. Then we have our whole numbers, including all the natural and counting numbers, and including 0 now. After that, the integers includes the whole numbers, the counting numbers, and the negative numbers, rational numbers, Anything that can be written in a form of fraction, where the denominator is not going to equal zero. Those are all examples there of rational numbers. That's the division, or the split up of how we, uh, those particular problems there. Now we're going to include two new terms. We're including irrational numbers and the real numbers system. Irrational numbers, that's a number that can not be expressed as a fraction where the numerator and denominator are integers and the denominator does not equal zero. What exactly does that mean? Well, if we look at a few examples, it might make it a little simpler to understand. Those are irrational numbers. Pi, square root of 2, square root of 5. Those are all numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. Uh, with an integer in the numerator. We could always put those numbers over 1, 1 being the, in the denominator, but we cannot write an integer in the numerator for those. So we have real numbers, set of rational numbers together with a set of irrational numbers. That begs the question, what other kind of numbers do we have? Well, if we look at those examples there, negative square root of 4 and square root of negative 4, that's going to lend us or lead us to the new type of number system that you do not need to know, but uh, just for purposes of future learning. If we look at a calculator there, square root of 4 is 2. We just make that negative, so the negative square root of 4 is negative 2. However, if we put in the square root of negative 4, that is not a number. The answer for that is actually 2i, i being an imaginary number. You're not going to be exposed to this till probably Algebra 2, so you don't need to know this for now. The reason why they came up with imaginary numbers is to deal with this issue, the square root of negative 1. So imaginary number is addressing the issue of the square root of negative 1.